Okay, yeah. So, um, no, um, I don't know. It's kind of like, I feel like maybe, you know how I say, I say, uh, I want to focus more on the good things. Mm -hmm. Oh, too much is too much energy is projected on okay. mental illness and its bad behavior. Okay. Too much, too much is invested in us being bad. Uh -huh. There's not enough invested in. If we're going to do good, okay. not enough is invested. And if we're trying to, and not just do good by us, as far as like okay. taking our meds, going to therapy, the services that okay. the system has set up for us, it's all, is projected to me, the way I interpret it, um, okay. is projected too much of if we do bad, too much of if we're up to no good. So when circumstances okay. come my way, like what I've just went through, um, I'm left stuck with the, well, what did I do wrong? Um, why, 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 why am I always ostracized into, I don't know if that's the right word. Um, why is life constantly disciplining me? You see, there's so much lessons on what not to do. And it's not enough lessons on what to do. You see, it's nice. And okay. People talk about the grandiose, right? Well, could grandiose mean a kind of a compensation, right? In the sense that you ever think of maybe we don't have an ego. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's not an ego. Maybe that's not the issue. Maybe it's the latter. Okay. Maybe it's because we don't have an ego. Maybe we don't have what? Maybe because we don't have an ego. Maybe our self-confidence is that low. All right. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Now, even when we're trying to defend ourselves, it comes across uh -huh. as bad behavior. Or like grandiose. You see what I'm saying? When all the grandiose is, is trying to compensate for all the lack, all of the walking around with your head down, always, you know what I'm saying? All ashamed, feeling bad. Like, okay, it kind of doesn't make sense in the sense that, so on one breath, we, our confidence is so low, we automatically assume that everyone is better than us and everything. So how could someone with that low confidence just all of a turn around and be, you know, like thinking that they're God? You know what I'm saying? Like that's not, that doesn't make sense. So when I say like, like, it could be just that, meaning that, okay, this person is so low on themselves that, you know what, like, well, I mean, okay, when certain, it's funny, right? I came up with this theory myself, right? Now, I like movies and I like some of hip hop music and all kinds of genres of it, right? I noticed one thing, right? When I'm going through a circumstance, my taste changes. Okay. Do you find that your taste 
the books I like to read. Okay? So, when I'm going through a circumstance, the, the genre of books change. When everything is good, I like this type of book. When everything is disarray, like now, I like this kind of book. You see what I'm saying? Now, there has to be some kind of medium, okay? Now, granted, what this circumstance is, see, one thing that I believe, I came up with this thought, right? And I'm just throwing, I'm just throwing thoughts out. I'm just throwing thoughts out. I came up with this thing right here. Watch this. I believe the worst thing you can do to a child and chastising, they say, oh, you should never whoop a kid or whatever, spank a kid. Okay. I mean, there's a reason behind that, and I get it, right? Okay, you know, when you get physical pain, the brain shuts down, and the whole process is learning, so why would you spank a child when you're trying to teach them something? You're not going to teach them anything because they're shut down. Well, here we go. You know what's even worse than that? Okay, I don't know if you're familiar with this or not, okay? But in the old days, okay? So, parents, teachers, okay? Not just parents, teachers, right? Would tell the kid, say... Right, but... Yeah, but okay, watch this. So, if you're familiar with this scenario, tell me if you are. So, look at that. Oh, Okay, I want you to go outside and I want you to go get that switch and bring it back to me. Now see what that does right there? I'm not familiar with it, but my mom is from the South and she said that's how they grew up where they would have to go out and find the switch and then they See that right there? Cause you, yeah. you, 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 you well, yeah. You know what? The, you see, you carry that on to when you're an adult. I mean, the subject carries that on to them when they're an adult, and their subconscious. Now their confidence is torn. Yeah, that's not um, good though. It's not. I like I said, I'm glad I never had to go through that, but I couldn't even imagine. Yeah. But then it's like, so like I I don't I it's I don't know, like it came to me like 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 wow. This type of behavior, this type of stuff, like you really have to like sit back and consciously take yourself out of that scenario and say, listen, that's not true. Don't do that. You see what I'm saying? So I'm just saying, right, there's so, bringing it back to power perspective, since you understand that, there's a lot of things in, in society that, that, that practices that kind of stuff, right? When I was in school, the reason why I brought it up, right? When I was in school, okay, one thing that I can remember was I went to those private schools, right? I'm not sure if you ever heard of it. And it's attached with the Mental Health Association. The one I went to was called NERI. And I remember they used to practice restraints. And though it wasn't a whip, though they wasn't doing that, what they would do was say, if we're having a bad day, we're not feeling all right, staff would come and like taunt us. Oh, are you okay? Are you okay? And if the answer wasn't, I guess, an answer that fit the social norm, then they would restrain us for no reason. Like throw us on the ground and pound our heads in the concrete and all that, whatever. 
which in so many ways is worse than whipping. <laughs> <laughs> just because we were, and not just black kids, because it was white kids too, but I'm just saying back then, you know, it wasn't, but still, all I'm getting at is the practices still go on in different forms, different ways, over and over and over. It's like they get upgraded. People know the behavior is wrong, so instead of abolishing in it, they upgrade it. They, all they do is upgrade it. And I only say that to say, I was watching this clip recently in today's time. They had this five-year-old girl in handcuffs in a chair. And the issue was talking about schools across America have police in the schools, like staffing the kids, like, and I watched this documentary. I'm like, what the hell? That is barbaric. Like, you are you serious? And this type of stuff goes on and goes on and goes on. So that would bring back to when I said earlier, like, yeah, you used to, a long time ago, they used to say, oh, go get a whoop. And then they would get a whoop. But then I said, like, but all of that behavior and the stuff that I went through into school with my peers, you know, just because we didn't feel like they expected us to, that was a reason for them to restrain us? Like, are you serious? You see what I'm saying? And it seems like no one takes into account what this does to the psyche. So back to what I'm saying. See, I believe, I really believe, and it'll benefit everybody, right, that we should put more emphasis, more energy, into into services that I'm not saying the services that we have are bad, but we should also put the same amount of energy in services that are projected as if we're doing good. There are too many services for if we do bad and not enough if we do good. For instance, you know, when you go to the lighthouse, when you put on the and the applications and stuff to sign up for housing and all that stuff because they don't want people, us out in the street, right? That's good, right, right? Well, here we go. So why don't we use that same type of energy, right, to apply for food stamps, learn how to file for bankruptcy, learn how to fix your credit, but there are no services on that. You see what I'm saying? There are, no, there are no avenues about that. That loophole that I found, it wasn't that the people were mean or people were being whatever. They didn't know. Okay? I happened to buy an ISBN and worked at with my work, combined with my job that I work, and the judge that signed my financial whatever awarded the money back to me. Because it was mine. It's legally mine. Those are my ISBNs. Teach our mentally ill those kind of techniques to survive in society. We set each other up for failure. You see what I'm saying? Not enough is, is always directed at so much of if you do bad. None of which is if you do good. So much of, right? For instance, do you know... Welfare, I just found this out recently. Welfare, we look at welfare with our nose turned up. And we're taught to look at welfare like, oh, how dare you, never. But watch this. Corporations that everyone works for, McDonald's, Walmart, you name it, okay? That same application that the average citizen fills out to get a grant or to get a, a, a public assistance, those corporations fill out the same form to get a grant to pay their minimum wage associates. Just the title on both forms are different. So why don't we, as the people, you see what I'm saying? There's no difference in housing and bankruptcy. 
there's no difference in you see what I'm saying? But but it's like we're set up, we we set up, we set up for failure. We set up for failure. And then that comes to haunt us later on. And that's what I did. After going through my footnotes and reading this book that I'm writing, I was like, wow, there's a big hole. You know what I'm saying? You know, like I'm sick of getting in circumstances and then coming back telling people what's going on. And the first thing back out of their mouth is, well, what did you do? What did you do? You know, that's not always the case. You see what I'm saying? Some things happen to people. Some people do things, but sometimes some things happen to people. You see what I'm saying? One, 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 one of the uh, motivational speakers had said this yesterday, and I never heard it before. And he went on to say on something like, instead of thinking when something bad happens, something happened to us. Oh, I was like, it's funny. Yep. You know who it was? It was Jay-Z. Oh my, yes, he did. He was like, no. Him and Kevin Hart came up with it. And they were like, no. Bad things don't happen. Things don't happen to us. Now, here we go, because I'm about to close it. What if we didn't look at it like happening to us? What if we looked at it happen for us? You see how it would change? How you talk about, what you, what, what you say when I first started started seeing you? Affirmations. Well, how's that for an affirmation? Right? So instead of looking at this circumstance that what came my way as happening to me as a victim, right? Right? How about I flip it? Well, hey, wait. What if it happened for me? So I can do. You see what I'm saying? So then when I went, and maybe that's why, maybe that's why I resonated with it when they said that, because I'm familiar with, with you when you was telling me affirmations. You hear what I'm saying? You see how the brain works? You see how it works? Yeah. So even though you wasn't in that tutorial with Kevin Hart and Jay-Z, somewhere in my psyche, we call talking to you, which clicked the bell was like, whoa, you know what I'm saying? That's a light. Okay, let me try that. You see what I'm saying? Well, it takes effort, you know. But I think, yeah, that's where my projective is with this, where I'm going with with this particular piece of literature that I'm working on. These short stories, I would go that way, you know. Probably say like, listen, let's go to the lighthouse and say, yeah, listen, let's let's put in services that you know that as for if they do good. Maybe that's why it's so easy for when people to come in office like DeVore Patrick to pull services from us. Well, because they're projected at the bad. So maybe they don't look at our services as needed because they're projected at bad. But what if we had some services that was for good? You see what I'm saying? I'm just a thought. Just. Yeah, yeah.